So we put a whole bunch of videos together of uh, how to eat pomegranates, right? A whole bunch of pomegranate videos, how to eat the seeds, de-seed them, how to squish them, suck out the juice. And that's the main way of eating pomegranates uh, over the years. Uh, but one thing I started to do this year, uh, thanks to a friend of mine recommending it uh, to throw things in a blender, is I started making pomegranate salad dressing. It comes out amazing, so I figured I'd share it with you, okay? And it's uh, pretty straightforward, uh, well, semi-straightforward. You definitely do need a blender, okay? Um, so this is the way it goes. We, we're going to need about anywhere between a cup to two cups of pomegranates. And, you know, I can, you know, you can measure it with a cup, but I sort of know what it looks like when I, when I do it. So I'm just going to pour it in here, okay? Uh, so I just use a big spoon to throw it in there. So keep it in mind, it's, it's about two cups of pomegranates, right? Or a cup or whatever it is. It, it adjusts, your, adjusts your quantity based on what you think you need, okay? So... This thing comes about to about two cups of pomegranates. Okay, a little bit less maybe. But that's all I need. And this thing's gonna make you enough uh, dressing to last you a few few salads, right? Or at least one, you know, if you have guests over, a whole bunch of salad dressing for all your guests. And then what I do, I take maple syrup and I use anywhere between, depending on how much I'm, you know, how, how sweet I want it, I use about about half a cup or about a third of a cup. So right now I want it to be, you know, semi-sweet. So I'm gonna use about a third of a cup of maple syrup, okay? And then what I do, I take balsamic vinegar and I put about a quarter of a cup balsamic vinegar. And when you pour this thing in, um, you'll notice that they don't mix. Like the, it's a layer, and I'll show it to you, show it to you when we get close up. And it's about a quarter or a little bit less than a quarter of a cup. And then I use hemp oil, okay? Hemp oil is amazing. Uh, and if you can get your hands on hemp oil, highly recommend it. And if you can't get your hands on hemp oil, just use any type of oil that you want for salad dressing, right? Olive oil is fantastic as well. Uh, and I use about a little bit less than what I put in uh, the amount of balsamic vinegar I put in there, okay? And you can see here, I'll bring this close up to you. Approximately here, let me bring it over. So we have approximately, very dark this way. You gotta shine it through a light. So we have approximately this much maple syrup. We got approximately this much uh, balsamic vinegar and we got approximately this much hemp oil, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump it in. And then what I end up doing is throwing in, depending on if you like your garlic or not, right? Throwing in one clove of garlic and sometimes one and a half. I'm gonna throw in one and a half because I want it to be a little bit garlicky. Okay. So one and a half, one medium sized one, one smaller one. Boop. And I'm gonna take cayenne pepper and cayenne pepper is amazing. I'm gonna put in, you know, depending on how spicy you want it, right? I'm just gonna put in about a quarter of a teaspoon, okay? And that's it. And what you have to do for this is, this is an old school blender, so it's not, uh, you're not, it's, it's not a super blender that just mashes up everything really quick. So I have to run this thing for a while. And I start off at low speed, and the noise for this is annoying, so I'm gonna speed through this, I'm pretty sure, in the editing, okay? So I run it really slow at first, at a lower speed at first, and then I kick it up to a really high speed. Okay, so the reason I run this for a while on on this old school uh, blender is because uh, I want the garlic to be mashed up. Um, I've done this before, I didn't run the blender long enough and the garlic came out in chunks. So I want the garlic to be really nicely mashed up, okay? Now that we've done that, uh, that's basically it. That's our pomegranate. Now, pomegranate salad dressing, now be careful when you take this off, right? Because pomegranate juice does stain, so you don't want to get this on anything, uh, you know, anything white any on your clothes or upholstery or anything like this. So I'm just gonna pour this out so you see it. And you can take a look, right? It makes a lot. 
and it's really good because um, it's good that it makes a lot because uh, I personally like to put a lot on there it's an amazing flavor and that's what it looks like the color of it right and what I've what I've been doing with this is basically taking greens right just mix greens um, what I do end up doing I love walnuts I use a lot of walnuts take some walnuts just break them up right just dump them on top or you can have half whole whatever you want right uh, if you got avocado if you have avocado take some avocado I've cut it in sort of a grid pattern here all I do is throw the spoon under it an avocado and the sauce is amazing together amazing and just dump out the avocado in there okay and throw on some walnuts again on top okay and i take my pomegranate sauce right and i give it a swirl because it does settle fairly quickly and then i just pour it up top so and i do like a fair bit of a uh, fair bit of the sauce on there at the bottom it sort of settles at the bottom um, when you're done with the sauce and what I do I just usually end up drinking it and I usually take a little bit of pomegranates and throw it up top okay if you want you got some more walnuts mix it in there and there you go you got your pomegranate salad amazing stuff fantastic super delicious really fantastic um, so glad that this ended up being a discovery this year because it's going to become a part of my regular diet and when I eat it because of the I'm not sure how it works but it's it, it's really refreshing uh, after eating a bowl of uh, the salad dressing it's um, it's fantastic maybe because of the balsamic vinegar and maybe the pomegranates I have no idea um, I'm a pomegranate freak, so uh, I love my pomegranate. So anything with pomegranates is, uh, um, is is fantastic for me. Okay, and that's it. Um, that's um, my pomegranate salad dressing recipe, if you like to call it. Um, what you can do is put this in the fridge, and just keep it in the fridge, and it stays there for a while. What does happen though? It does separate into layers. So if you keep it in the fridge for a while or you know a couple of days or a day or a few hours even it does start separating so when you when you do end up using it just give it a little mix and just use it again okay and that's it uh, that's sort of the final video i guess of uh, uh, the pomegranate se series that we put together okay i hope you enjoyed we'll talk later bye bye Very good. <laughs> Fantastic. Yummy, yummy.